All right, the first thing you want to do is select this default queue, press X, delete, press numpad 7 to be in top orthographic view, press shift A. And we're going to select a mesh, not any mesh, but a circle. If you're new to Blender, you're probably thinking, what the hell is this? Where is the circle? Well, if you press tab, go into edit mode and press F, there it is. It's all there. But if, you, if you're trying to create a disk, it doesn't help. So press Control Z to go backwards, and then press E to extrude. And look at this mess. It's not exactly helping. It's kind of right, but it's not right. How do we fix this? We press S. And then we just extrude inwards and decide on the thickness. Once you've done that, you click with your mouse and press tab, go into object mode, and there we have a perfect disk. It's a bit thin. How do we fix that? We can press tab, go into edit mode, press 3 to choose face select, and holding alt and click this edge here, and then press E to lift this up to give it some thickness. Once you've given it enough, given it enough thickness, you probably also want to press control R, give it one loop cut at, at the very least, and click, and there we go. We've got a beautiful loop cut. Now, as nice as this looks, it doesn't. It looks a bit sharp, so how do we fix that? Let's press tab, go into object mode, right click, shade smooth, it looks a little bit funny, how do we fix that? We can go to our object data properties, our normals, we can auto smooth, and I like to auto smooth at 75 for this object, and then we can go to our modifiers and say, listen, let's, let's take it to the next level. Let's use the subdivision surface modifier, one, two. And just like that, we've created a beautiful, slick disk. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And there's a quick bonus one. Press Shift A, Mesh, and we can use a circle again. Press Tab, go into Edit Mode, uh, choose your Vertex Select, press E to extrude again, press S to scale inward. And if we scaled inward like this, and we created press Control R, and we created a bunch of loop cuts, and we clicked, and then we zoomed in over here and press Alt, and just selected only this rim here, then we press numpad 1 and clicked on this button of here called a proportional editing and we just press G and bring this down and I'm going to press Z to lock it to the Z axis and you can scroll the mouse wheel up and down for an interesting shape I'm quite happy with that and then perhaps press E to extrude a little bit more if you wanted to create some sort of funnel and there we go, we've created an interesting funnel and once again takes just a few seconds to fix this up and give it some thickness. In this case, we'll use a solidifier and we'll just ramp this up. And then we can apply the solidifier and press tab, go into edit mode. And we're gonna select this outer rim here. We're gonna make sure we are on edge select, right click, and we're gonna edge crease. And we're gonna pull this all the way up until we see edges plus one, which is over here. And then click, press tab, go into object mode. Looks a bit sharper. Perhaps we just need to add a subdivision surface modifier on level 2. And there we go. We have an interesting funnel, which you could use in Blender for all sorts of interesting simulations. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.